look at the video title, it might seem a little odd to you. It says probably something like, uh, uh, older people are not made of glass. And what do I mean by that? Uh, I think a lot of people that teach Tai Chi, uh, maybe like I started teaching Tai Chi to older people in uh, uh, the, latter, the latter part of the 90s. And um, I don't know, I never really thought that way, but a lot of people that, that teach older people, say they're younger, in their 30s or 40s, or maybe even their 20s, like I, when I started teaching Tai Chi, and they, you know, they, you know they, they think the older person is fresh. Well, you can have back issues, ankle issues, knee issues. I have a student, he's 37, Big muscular dude, he's like six foot two, maybe two hundred and fifty pounds, big old guy. Um, but he's got a bad knee because he, he damaged it, right? He damaged all the connective tissue around it. And uh, it's you know, over the last couple of years it's been recovered. So same thing with an older person, we'll say late sixties, seventies, maybe even into early eighties. You don't you know, to me, you don't have to to, to Treat those people like they are, um, they're going to break, right? If you're doing the things right, as it relates to uh, their joints, your joints, and how you you know, how much you're physically pushing a person, um, they can develop and even progress above and beyond, right? But if you think in your mind, or you're an older person and you're thinking in your mind, well, you know, I can do Tai Chi like this, but I don't, can't, you know, I, I'm not going to push myself to try to get bigger stances or to raise the leg higher, right? Or to, uh, to raise the leg as I move backwards, right? I don't know if I'm making that make sense. It's just that the muscles can atrophy and they can develop. The connective tissue can get weak and it can get stronger. Um, our heart rate can go up and go down, right? Our uh, fat content can go up or go down. The, the, the thing that can get damaged the most is joints. And if a person has a joint issue, you know, we want to take care of that. But it goes back to almost all my other videos, right? I'm not forcing anything into the knee joint. I'm not rounding the back, right? I'm not leaving the, the foot in some type of a fixed position. And then turning into the, the hip or the, the, um, the knee, right? Or, or doing things like this where I'm rolling the knee in and out. I'm not doing anything like that. Um, so whether the person is 30 or 75, those same things apply. So it's not that the older person uh, shouldn't be challenged. And if you're an older person, you're watching this, you should be challenged. What I'm getting at is, if you come to a Tai Chi class and you're walking like this, let's get that foot out there. And then for, for development, for strength and mobility, let's see if we can keep pushing it out there, right? Um, if, you know, we start and we're at a really high base and we can sink that hip down and load the legs and the buttocks more and have to rely more on the, the core muscles, let's do that, right? If, if it's you're having a hard time because you, maybe you're, you're walking with a forward gait, right? And doing things like this makes you feel unstable. You feel like you're going to fall down. Well, then let's fix it. Let's, let's work on that, right? And strengthen that so that we don't lean over and we feel unstable. But you can't just do it one time and think you're going to overcome that. You may need to do multiple sets for a few weeks to strengthen and correct that issue. If you're having a hard time getting in and out of a car or in and out of chairs and things like that, well, let's do some uh, some chair squats. If uh, no, let's do two or three sets, two or three days a week, you know, and strengthen those blocks, right? If we're having a hard time getting that leg out there, then how about a few days a week that we work on Tai Chi walking? We get the leg out there so we can strengthen the, the hip flexor muscles so that we can pull that leg out there further in front of us. That type of training, because uh, and you're older, 
should be acceptable. Now, I understand if you haven't done any exercise in a while and you're, you know, you don't have the energy. You can be 30 and have the same, you know, you're, you know, 35, 40 pounds overweight or more. So many people are, so many people out there that are 30 to 50 pounds overweight, right? And uh, you don't just lose that weight overnight. You know, you have to, you know, you're going to have to uh, exercise, put down on the calories. And the same thing if you're older, right? You're older, you haven't done any physical activity in, a, we'll say, a good bit of time, a few years or something like that. Of course not. You're not going to just start doing this stuff and just push, push, push yourself. But we want to see a progressive development so that we can get something out of it, right? If this could be our, our base and we're down here, well, let's do the effort to get here, but instead of just, we'll say, living with what we, we can, you know, that we can get from here, how about we try to push ourselves a little higher up, right? You know, instead of, uh, it's like the, you know, going walking. Walking is an excellent exercise. Uh, if you're used to walking a mile and you, you can do it, that's great. But maybe push it a little more, maybe another quarter mile or half mile. And, you know, and it's not about stressing the body to the point to where we have this long downtime. That's not what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, a person goes in and they work out and they're sore for two or three days. Um, it's okay to be sore some, right? You know, that's the lactic acid that's built up in the muscles or you drink some water and things like that and, and you know, get that soreness out and it's a little massage or something. But um, I guess uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not, gonna, it's not going to hurt you. You, you follow what I'm getting at? And if you're teaching older people, uh, I feel that when I'm teaching older people, if I treat them, to me, treating them with respect is pushing them to achieve more than where they are right now. And I think that, um, why are they coming to Tai Chi? They're, they're looking for some activity to improve their overall health, their mobility, their strength. And if we just make it easy, then they're never going to be challenged and they're going to get so much less out of it. It's like in the, the, the Chong Tai Chi that I teach, and we really sink and drive, so we really use the buttocks and the, the, the larger leg muscles, right? And it's this way, instead of just shifting back and forth or shifting and lifting the leg, which doesn't really load those muscles enough, and we need those muscles to get out of chairs and to pull that leg through. So this type of sinking and driving, sinking and driving, this kind of stuff I did is very good for that. But if I don't push the person, hey, you need to, you know, let's get you down there, let's get you down there. Now, they may need to do two steps to get to where they can start doing that, but we've got to have a path for the person. And uh, so, I feel personally um, from working with, we'll say, there's, depending on how you look at it, I'm an older person, right? And uh, so, but I'm talking about those that are 10 to 25 years older than me. Um, they're there, most of them are there for a reason. It's not just a fun activity. They're looking for something to maintain that quality of life, to have that to independence, that ability to get into a car and go do what they want to do. And that's the way that I want to share Tai Chi with people in that age group for functional fitness so they really get something out of it. And I want to, I want to encourage them and motivate them to do that. I don't ever treat them like they can't do it. And if I did that with 30-year-olds or 35-year-olds or 25-year-olds, would they really develop would they really feel motivated to push themselves further? Probably not. And the older person is they're doing the same thing. They're looking for something. Oh, the younger people, they may be doing it for that athleticism of it. At the same time, a lot of them are really interested in the wrestling, the sparring, the learning to fight. And the older people who are coming to it, they just want to be able to functionally do stuff. And it doesn't mean that they're not interested in, 
at least the fundamental idea of self-defense also. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. Basically, just what I'm getting at is if you're an older person and you're doing Tai Chi, push yourself to try to get more out of it, and you will. If you're teaching older people, don't think that they can't do it. Give them the opportunity to try it and give them ways in which to build to that. So anyway, thank you for watching.